In this example, both components are positive. But what if the stone moves from a position of 1, 4 to a position of 5, 1? This would be the displacement vector. But what would the x and y components be? Delta x is 5 meters minus 1 meter, which is 4 meters. But delta y would be 1 meter minus 4 meters, which is negative 3 meters. Remember, displacement is the final position minus the initial position. So delta y is negative. Notice how all the positions have positive values, but the direction of a component determines whether it's positive or negative. It doesn't matter where the object is. If up is the positive y direction, then down is the negative y direction. The y component is pointing down, so it's negative. It's kind of like using a compass. If the positive y direction is north, then the negative y direction is south. Even though the positions are positive, the y component is pointing south, which is negative. The stone moved in the negative y direction. The magnitude of the displacement vector is still positive 5 meters, because magnitude is always positive. If someone asks how far did the stone move, we would say 5 meters, not negative 5 meters. What if the stone moved from a position of 5, 4 to a position of 1, 1? The y component, delta y, would still be negative 3 meters. But now the x component, delta x, would be 1 meter minus 5 meters, which is negative 4 meters. If right, or east, is the positive x direction, then left would be the negative x direction. And again, the magnitude would still be positive 5 meters. In these examples, the coordinates and the math kept track of the positive and negative signs for us. 1 minus 5 is negative 4, and 1 minus 4 is negative 3.